I'm naive, and today we'll be discussing and administering the Illinois Agility Cup. Let us first begin by defining agility. Agility is the accurate performance of a sport-specific movement involving rapid change of direction or velocity in reaction to analysis of the environment. Due to the close nature of this test, meaning the athlete is not required to respond to a stimulus, what we are really looking at is change of direction capabilities and speed. In this clip, we will see athletes performing a dynamic warm-up, a necessary component to all exercise assessments. We are looking to increase temperature, increase blood flow for oxygen delivery to working muscle tissue, neuromuscular activation, and movement in all movement planes. While there is some variability to the layout of the assessment, we will be using the one depicted in the diagram. You will set up four cones in a rectangle 10 meters long, 5 meters wide, with four cones dissecting the middle. Here, we will see the coach explaining the assessment to the athletes who will then perform the assessment three times. The first time will be a walkthrough, the second effort will be a moderate one, and the third one will be timed. It is important that we inform the athlete that time begins on their movement. The time is completed once they cross the finish line. It is important that the tester positions himself in a manner in which they can clearly see the start and stop line for accurate timing measurements. Common faults to consider are athletes not touching or crossing the line, crossing over the cones versus weaving through the cones, or any use of the hands on the floor for gained stability. As previously mentioned, this assessment is useful for sports such as football, rugby, soccer, and basketball. In basketball, anaerobic capacity is a predictor for playing time. Therefore, this assessment can be used for as a drill in training. This assessment can be high in reliability when the coach is sure to replicate all testing parameters, the major ones being time of day, ambient temperature, the testing surface, equipment such as shoes, athletic wear, cones, using the same data recorder. While this assessment is not a valid measure of agility, it is important to consider when looking at change of direction and speed. The research norms considered for this had rugby athletes with training tenure completing the assessment within 16 seconds it should be noted there was some variation in the size of their assessment. Another research article looked at military professionals who completed this assessment in 18 second range, but they were starting from a prone position. When strength coaches use this for their specific teams, they should further investigate the norms associated with their sport. It is my hopes that with this information provided in the video that you would be able to administer this assessment with your teams.